Okay, the psychopathy, deceit, manipulation, virtue signaling, and unbridled tyranny coming from the Republicans and the Democrats as they get together in a bipartisan effort to screw all Americans over is off the Richter scale. And if you're still sitting there and you're still trusting government at this point, you're either delusional, ignorant, dishonest, or a little bit of all of it. The 24-7 propaganda to foist this global theft under the cover of protecting you from the coronavirus is thicker than dried concrete. And this is the only example that you need. Just want every American to know, uh, go to trusted sources. Get this information from places uh, that you know you have confidence in that, whether it's whitehouse.gov or dhs.gov. or state- Whitehouse.gov. DHS.gov. You can trust the government, says Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. You can trust him because he says he's a trustworthy source. And you can go to these other government trustworthy sources and get your trusted information. State.gov. Go to those places so that you can see what America is really doing. We're delivering good outcomes for the American people. And we can't allow disinformation, uh, state actors and others who want... You, you want to guard yourself against disinformation. You want to guard yourself against state actors. You want to guard yourself, Mike, probably against liars, cheaters, people who steal, and those who train others to lie, cheat, and steal, right? Is that who we need to be guarded against? Is that who we need to be protected from? Is that why we need to trust government sources to keep us out of those snares? to undermine what we're doing here in the United States that present risk to each of us and we need to be mindful of that and go only to trusted sources for good, reliable information. Well, we're going to talk about what they're doing here in the United States, but first a message from Mike Pompeo. I, I, I was the CIA director. We lied, we cheated, we steal and stole. It's, I was like, I go to trusted sources. We lied, we cheated, we steal and stole. And go only to trusted sources for good, reliable information. We, we, had, we had entire... We had entire training courses. Uh, it, uh, it, it, it reminds you of the, uh, uh, the glory of the American experiment. There's your trusted source, people. And listen to this. Excuse me, we'll do it in a second. Let Mike, yes, may, may, just, may just say one more thing. There, there's been some discussion about China and what they knew and when they knew it. And I've, I've been very critical. We, we, we need to know immediately. The world is entitled to know. The Chinese government was the first to know of this risk to the world. And that puts a special obligation to make sure that data, the data gets to our scientists, our professionals. This is not about retribution. This matters going forward. We're in a, we're in a live exercise here. We're in a live exercise here, guys. This is a live exercise. This is a banker heist under the cover of protecting you from the C-virus. Wake up. Trillions of dollars worth of debt are about to be funneled into the American society and into the world. And this is going to have a direct result on how much food costs you, on how much your lights cost to turn on in your house, about how much the gas is going to be at your pumps. This is not just a national theft. This is a global theft. Remember what William Pitt the Younger said, necessity will always be pleaded for every assumption of authority. And that's what's going on here. An assumption of the authority. They're assuming your authority and your power and grabbing it for themselves and for their banking overlords. They're assuming your money, your assets, and grabbing it for their Zionist international banking overlords. That is what's happening. Make no mistake about it and get this message out. Democrat or Republican, they're two wings of the same bird of prey and they're feasting on Americans right now.